Hello, hello, welcome to my channel World Kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to make pot roast beef. Uh, this is the ingredients that I'm going to use. I have a different kind of carrots. <clears throat> And that little guy there, I already marinated that last night. Uh, I have a video how I did, and also that uh, uh, sauce. I'm going to make that for simmer for the meat. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to make um, a sauce for marinating for my um, Hungarian pot uh, roast for tomorrow. Uh, this is the ingredients this is the wine and this is a, a steak seasoning garlic paprika and black peppers and broth so I'm going to put this together that wine right there I think I need a bigger one. <laughs> okay, let me transfer that. Okay, we're good now. I transfer the bigger one. <laughs> so the black peppers. Come on. There you go. And the paprika. Garlic. And the... Uh, steak seasoning okay we're gonna mix that up this is my own version of hungarian pot roast <laughs> okay i already clean up the uh, beef i remove some of the uh, fat and then i soak for three hours and you can see it's lighter because <laughs> I don't like really very red so I soak it so it will become lighter all right so and also I like my roast uh, marinated overnight that way the flavor will soak to the meat yes. right there I'm gonna dip that one over there. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to flip that over on this uh, this side because it's not that enough uh, sauce. Then what I do, I put that. That way, the sauce will absorb inside, not too much, just like that. go soak it as possible we need to brown that meat first before I simmer it so first we need to dry out the meat before we brown it that way it won't splash on you the, <laughs> the <coughs> oil and then we'll add more seasoning before we brown it. This is like uh, five pounds. Now we just have to dot paprika on it. Mm. 
this is good for holidays like Christmas Thanksgiving or any occasions you can use this you can make this okay let's brown this guy and we'll do the next steps I will add some oil and butter just one tablespoon of butter that guy there. Put in the high, high heat. This little one, we just uh, cut it in half and remove all the seeds. Okay, the, the garlic, we don't do anything to garlic, we just leave it like that, the uh, whole thing, and put it in the pot later. Then we need to caramelize this, uh, then put it on the meat later. And this one, the little guy right here, this is dried chili, I don't know, pepper bell. You need to soak this one for maybe two to three minutes and then cut it, slice it. Okay, this one should be enough. So, we can for that. Two here. Oh, my God, it's heavy. Ugh. Now we saute the onions here. Yeah, look at that color. More. <clears throat> also the garlic color. And the peppers. Okay, now we we'll add the tomato, dry tomato. And 
and this is the the sauce for um, tonight. Just put your fire on the high heat for now. That way it boils right away and we'll add the meat in there. Okay, before we put the meat, you taste the, the sauce if that's enough for you or you can add more uh, spice or salt or whatever. Okay, now let's add the meat. Oh, this is hairy. <laughs> Oh. All right. Now we have to simmer this like three to four hours until the meat is really tender. So keep checking on it every hour, and then spoon it on top. One cup of uh, broth if we need it, and uh, we simmer this to medium high, All right? Three to four hours until the meat is tender. Now let's cover it up. Okay, this little guy here, just peel it and cut it in half. This is optional if you cannot find this one in a grocery store. Just forget it. Just use a regular uh, carrot. We <clears throat> just cut this in half. Do a diagonal if you want. I don't cut that because it's too short already. <laughs> Okay, let's check out our uh, fat roast. It's been two hours already. <laughs> Looks good. Mm. We still have enough sauce. Just put your uh, fire still on the medium low. Okay, we'll add the vegetables uh, an hour before the time's over. I like this, this potatoes, <laughs> just right size for bite, bite size. Okay, looks good. Okay, let's continue simmering this uh, until like uh, one hour until also the vegetables get soft. Okay, uh, my Hungarian patros. Actually, I have a co worker from Hungary and they moved back to the country before the pandemic. <laughs> Hi, Evan, we missed you. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, your two twins are really cute. I wish I could hold them. I love the scopoles. They, they are very sweet. Especially Yvette. I love you Yvette. <laughs> She's so adorable. She's so sweet. And now she, she, she got twins. They are so adorable. I chat with her like yesterday and they're doing well in Hungary. By the way, Yvette, uh, we seen Andy on the street. <laughs> nah, no, just joking. He said he's going to the uh, book store buying uh, a book. <laughs> Next time I'm going to cook gulas. 
It looks it's so interesting, but I'm going to make a, a golas chicken, chicken not beef because I'm using also beef right now for a pot roast. Okay, let's check the vegetables. It's soft already. That should be enough. It's soft now. If you want more, a little bit less soft, or you can simmer a um, couple, like 30, 20 more minutes. This is good now. Now let's add one tablespoon of cornstarch to stick the oops the sauce. Just stir it. That way we'll even the thickness. Yummy. Now the sauce will become thicker. So here is my version of Hungarian uh, beef pot roast. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like it. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. And we'll see you next time. And don't forget to share with your friends and your family. Alright, see you next time. Okay, let's try my patros. My Hungarian style. The meat is so moist and also very tender. Mmm, it's good. Very good. You can, according to them, you can serve with this uh, big uh, salad or bread mm. so good